Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to design truss or tubular connections within RAM Connection Standalone. RAM Connection Standalone is capable of designing truss connections for joints of a variety of different configurations including K joints, Y joints, and X joints using the configurations you see on your screen. In this video we will be focusing on the design workflow for a Y style joint that's already been created in RAM Connection Standalone. We will now turn our attention back to our RAM Connection Standalone application. And as you can see, I currently have a typical Y joint selected. I'm selecting this through my joint selection area. Now this Y joint consists of a branch member and a cord member, and both are round hollow structural sections. I'm now at the point in my workflow where I'm ready to assign a truss or tubular style connection to this joint. To start that process, I'm going to go to the Design tab in the Ribbon Toolbar, click on the Assign icon, and then I'm going to find the Tubular Connections option. From here, I'm going to select the CHB command. Now this is the same command that you're going to select for any of your truss or tubular style joints, regardless of their configurations. Now here I can see that RAM connection was successful in assigning a truss connection to that joint. So let's go ahead and click close. Now before I go any further, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look in the joint selection area where the status of my connection design is going to be reported. This will indicate the most critical combination, your interaction ratio, and it will be color coded depending upon the status of your connection. Mine is in green, which means that it passed all code checks and no warnings were issued. Now to ensure that you are seeing the information for the most critical combination, you can go to the Home tab of the Ribbon Toolbar and you can see that my critical load condition icon is selected. It will be in a darker color when it is selected, which means that that interaction ratio is the controlling one. Now once you assign your initial connection design, you may want to review your connection results or calculations. You may also want to make some changes. So if we go to the Design tab of the Ribbon Toolbar, with this joint selected, I can click Edit, followed by Trust Connection, which will bring me to the connection pad. From here, I can review all the input information. I can possibly add some additional information to this joint. A few of the joints do allow some reinforcement to be added. I can review the results and also export a DXF. So let's go ahead and take a look at a few of the, of the key areas within here. First thing I'm going to notice on the top of my screen is the status of my connection design will be indicated. Here again, my interaction ratio is less than 1.0, and it is in green, meaning that this has passed the code check with no warnings. If I did receive a warning, it would be in yellow, and of course an error, meaning the interaction ratio is greater than 1.0, it would then be indicated in red. Let's go ahead and scroll down to see a couple of the options that we have available for this style of joint. Here you can see you can select your welding electrodes, select your welding type, and also adjust your fillet weld size. In addition to that, if I went up to the ribbon toolbar, I can click on the results icon, and I would be able to see the steel connection report for this particular joint. I'd be able to see all my loading information, all of the geometric considerations, and design checks that were performed for this particular joint. Now, if I want some additional information, I can click on this icon to view my formulas on screen. I'll be able to see all of my variables and all of the equations that were used to arrive at this result. Let's go ahead and close out of the report. And I'm going to go to my DXF view. And here again, you can see what your DXF is going to look like. You can export this DXF if you would like to insert it into your drawings. You can adjust your font size and your layer information. Now, if you did make any changes over here, what would happen is you'd see this interaction ratio update indicating the new status of your connection design. If you did make any changes, you of course would want to hit save before exiting out of the connection pad. 
In this particular case, what we're going to notice is that all of our connection designs are currently passing our code checks without issuing any warnings. So we're going to keep the default detailing of this joint and then close out of the connection pad. Now at this point, this will conclude our process for designing a truss or tubular connection for a Y style truss joint in RAM connection standalone. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.